My day job is actually 9 to 6. Then normally my opera start at 7.30 and end at 10.30. Teaching opera to me is actually family. You treasure the, the moment where people all gather together. I think around the world culture, people know them as just seafarers or fishermen, right? But I think there's more to it. Because of what I do for a living, right, I'm able to share uh, more about my history and my culture to Singaporeans. My grandparents lived on Pulau Semaka almost all their life. It was an island full of life. I wanted to be able to um, tell a little bit more about my family's history and at the same time try to reclaim the narrative of Pulau Semaka. So I left my job and started this digital marketing consultancy while I focused on my project. looking through the stack of photos to post for the Orang Laut SG page. This is my grandmother. She's cleaning the fish that we have caught for the day on this wooden plank that my grandfather built. I think transitioning to city life was very difficult for them. In 1978, they went back to the island, they live on the boat, like how they used to live, till the year 1992 or so. One tangible thing that we still have left is the food. So I'm hoping that through food, I'm able to share more about my history and my culture to Singaporeans. I had the idea for the longest time and I think the pandemic is somewhat a silver lining to me just because I feel that I had the courage to actually, you know, just do it. Currently, I'm actually performing in uh, Sing Sing Rong He, which is started in the year of 2001 till now. So it's about 20 years. Currently, I'm wearing the costume that I'll be wearing uh, next week for the uh, the show that I'm actually seeing, which is Iman San Jing Shi. I miss standing on the stage to let the audience see my costume. So I'm actually looking forward to next week's performance.
Vin, 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 In essence, Orang Lao cuisine focuses more on the freshness of seafood. If it's not fresh, it won't have the kind of results that we want. Thankfully, we have found a local supplier. He has connections with the people of the Riau Islands and he would get his supplies the night before, so we usually pre-order. Uh, now we're heading back. We've got to do a lot of cutting and cleaning of the seafood. Yeah, so that will take about a whole day. My mom is Madame Noraini, my aunt is Madame Rohaini. This is our usual kind of thing that we do on a Friday. So after going to the market, um, we do all the prep. Um, most of the work is done by them, so I help out as much as I can. The asam pedas and also sotong hitam, these are dishes that can be found in Malay cuisine. But how orang laut food is different is the way it's cooked, the ingredients that we use. For sotong hitam, it requires a lot of squeezing. That's where the taste comes from. Choose a sotong nose because it has the most amount of squid ink. So for lunch, Mama will be cooking gula nanas ikan libam. This is the ikan libam that we bought from the market earlier. My mom and I always wanted to eat the market because. Kalau nak makan pun kita kena cari ikut bapa kita malam-malam tak ada lawak pun pergi cari ya, ikan kan tak ada ketam tangkap baru balik makan sama harapan para anak tu ada. Pasal sekarang kan tak mau flat semua kan masih jauh-jauh sekali sekali baru datang begitu kan. Kita tanam, tak tanam tak ada. Kita tanam sendiri ya. Tanam sendiri. Bukan, nanti tak cukup untuk perisa. Right now, we no longer have our island. We only have our stories. We have our memories of it, and the food binds us together. Your menu. Okay, got different ah. The first two page. Have to change. Usually, I came to the bar. I usually, help them to take photos, uh, the whiskey bottles. What I need to do is helping them to do menus, the promotion for the social media. Okay, can, can, okay. no problem. <laughs> I didn't know until I show some of his videos, and then I asked him, and then he explained to me that he does perform. I think it's very cool because not many, especially in this younger generation, who still keep this tradition and practice this tradition the COVID, because of the COVID. Mm. Then the temple, they all cancel a lot of show. Yeah. Cannot do zoom. <laughs> they don't want zoom. So I to maybe they can do. <laughs> I came across Teochew Opera is because my grandma, my mom, my uncles, my aunts, they are all from Teochew Opera. Mm. 
because I no one to take care of me. My mom have to bring me to my grandma to draw a I watched them perform. I saw the costume. Then I feel that wow, it's so it's so glam, so so beautiful. Got this and. Having a tutu opera is really not easy because when I was in my grandma tutu troupe, I really see in myself all the management, how she call people to come and help out. Maybe at the time, if I'm big enough, right, I would really say that I will help you, grandma. It's really, really a waste that uh, closed down her tutu opera troupe. Ah,啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，啊，
Okay, actually these two will be the uh, costume I'll be wearing uh, during the uh, next performance and I also have uh, uh, another one which is in the box and for this one, they come with the hat right now, uh, I think probably I have 30 costumes that I have or even more then I think uh, currently this, uh, the one that I display is actually a few of it When I first time saw she wear this, I love it very much. At the time when she intend to retire, I request to get this costume from her. After that, she actually passed this costume to me. So I feel very grateful and I really love this uh, piece very much. I'm actually uh, upgrading my headgear. I want to put some gems on it to wear it with my costume. It's also part of design because you have to match with the costume, the headgear, colors, all this. So to me, I'm also a designer. I feel that I have my own way to make it more outstanding. It's also a respect in terms of my characters and also my performance. We're currently at West Coast Park. We are heading to the Southern Islands. We're going to fish today with my uncle. So he knows a few locations um, that he's going to bring me to go fishing. Ini untuk punya kan? Hmm. Ini untuk buat eh? Hmm. You just fish with the, 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 the strings only? Yeah. Yeah. Then we, we feel the strings. Usually there's a tug ah. But you need to be really fast. Because like, you will snap really fast. Depends what type. See, 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 my uncle expert. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Krapu! Grouper! Wow! Yes! Okay. From here, I learned. It's my cow. I'm going to go to the tank. This is where my grandfather's house used to be. Right in the middle here. When I was in primary school, right, I had to really explain a lot to my friends, you know, like, I saw a dolphin last weekend, they were like, Singapore, where got dolphin? And then I realised that people just do not live the same life like I did, and especially when you're a teenager, right, you try to somehow fit a certain mold. Woo, whoa, huge! During my mid to late 20s, I then fully understand the differences that we have right, within the Malay community. And I think, you know, the onus is on us, the descendants, to document it. One huge thing that happened to my family is that when my uncle passed away, he was a native born of Los Macau, and I was counting on him to actually share with us more about the island traditions. And I fear that this happens to my mom and also like my aunts or my uncles. I, I do not want to waste any minute. Yes, it's a functioning landfill right now, important to Singapore, but there was a life to it. I visited the island up till I was nine years old. I felt the very soil of Pulau Smakau. So can we reclaim our narrative? I'm now going to uh, Sing Hong Temple at Padang Garden. I'm looking forward for tonight's performance.
when I live with them, right, when I actually play the music, they will feel that oh, it's very annoying. But of course, when I go for performance, they will support. I do help out with other troops also because currently in Singapore we left only three to troop opera troops. So what we can do is only to help out each other. I really feel that dialect is part of our life. So you will remember where your family comes from. Last time, you know, when we perform every day, you feel very tired. It's because I have a daytime job. But when we really don't have opera to perform, right, you will really think that wow, last time when you have performance at time, it's really <laughs> things that is very, very good. So now we should appreciate every day that we have for performance. Because you will never know when will this teacher opera ends.